knew that some genius would invent this amazing little portable washer. I'm just connecting it there. I turn the water on. I make sure that it's connected to the outlet here. And I make sure that the draining tube is connected to the shower. Make sure that the excess water comes out. And then the water just sort of comes out as, you know, it does the rain cycle and all of that. But look how cool is that? It's like a real giant washer, but it's mini style. And it has, you can do small, medium, or large. You can do heavy, gentle, normal. The heavy load was about 63 minutes. Your normal one, I think it was about 30. So I'm trying the rapid one today that's 15 minutes. I want to try to use less water and I'm going to see how fresh the clothes smells. Yesterday I did a heavy load um, with sweatshirts and a sweater and the sweater smelled so clean. I was very happy with how amazing my clothes smells um, after washing it. So we'll see. This is my first time using the rapid cycle. And I want to see if it'll give it the same amount of clean and that it'll come out smelling amazing. And this is my little girl's clothes. So, you know, they're the ones that run and the dirt and all that. So let's see how fresh really clean these clothes come. I love my washing machine. It's really on fire. It, it works so great. I love it. I love it. I love it. So as you can see, this thing is working. It looks like it's barely clean, but trust me, it, my stuff I used like the first day of this mayor soap for the dishes and that mess was clean. But I got some detergent over there now and things are rocking. So you put this mess here and you connect this to your water supply. And if this right here, load. and if this right here doesn't fit, it comes with two sets of these things, two sets of these to hopefully fit, but not my shower nor sink works with that. So uh, I'm just using this device right here, you know, container to just fill the water up until I get a bucket or something. So it does work if you fill up the water. If the thing is off, and then you fill up the water, this thing will start pouring out once it fills up. So just keep it there for good measure. Once that happens, then you just turn that mess on and you turn, you know, everything and then boom, it starts working. You can't open it in the middle and cycle. That happens. Just close it. Push play. There you go. So yeah, it works. My, sh my stuff is clean. So the machine is all good, but it keep leaking. With the water in dirt.
can see this little thing broke off and it's down there and I put the piece, the spring in this little thing I found, this plastic little holder that holds the spring and the lid is off and I hear this inside, which I, I don't know what that is. I have baby this machine. I'm allergic to mold. So every time I'm done, I take out, out off the hose. Um, that's the piece. I take this off. I take the hose off. I, you know, keep the lid up. Nothing is ever on the lid. Put this back, drain the bottom, and then tell I use it the next time. Um, I've literally babied this thing more than I can even explain. So I need help, please, thank you. Um, I have a mast cell activation and I can't use anything else other than this. Okay, so this is how it works. Um, plug it to the sink. The sink's already on, but it's stopped because it's, the machine is not on. Um, plug it to the machine, and then you see the drain that will lead to the sink. You turn it on. Um, I always do the heavy, so it just does the actual washing. And then in terms of spinning, I just chose the, the highest one, so it spins it all out. And um, maybe three washes just because and you literally close it and then you press start and there goes the water no drip drip it's so easy nobody has invested in buying these and putting them in apartments oh my god this is so awesome like i'm excited i'll let you know how the first spin goes
do not recommend it um, and also it's it's very noisy this is like the light noise that I hear um, last night it was make a lot of noise and I thought my neighbor they will be um, complain about me uh, so and the people who they have um, like uh, kids I do not also recommend this um, washing machine for them because it take only either four piece or six very light piece uh, is not worth it for the money actually yeah and uh, but the symboling is very easy you can just hook this one here and the other one in the sink um, and this also for taking off the water but also be careful about this guy because uh, you have to sit close to the washing machine uh, this guy is always make a mess I see this morning it make a lot like the water all of the floor um, because this guy is jump in that's it so be careful about that I hope my video is helpful for everyone this is my little review on the black decker I got the smaller model um, so I am talking about filling it from the top because I didn't really see very many reviews on that and um, couldn't figure out I have an apartment so I couldn't really figure out the connector when you have one of these and how to take this off I couldn't figure it out um, but luckily this extends all the way out so I could just like rest it in there I will say my biggest complaint is that this takes so much water and it takes about maybe 10 minutes to fill up and it goes all the way to the top if you don't fill it all the way to the top it will not spin um, so again 10 minutes of water just running and something to know is that when it's um, sometimes it'll randomly stop spinning you don't need to fill it with more water and you don't need to press start and stop I don't know why it just hasn't soaked sometimes so you just have to let it soak and then it'll keep going after that. You don't need to do anything, even if the light's flashing. I don't know why it flashes. Um, so halfway through it's going to drain and you're going to start your rinse cycle. But in order to start your rinse cycle you have to take the water and fill it up all the way again. Um, and that's another 10 minutes. Um, so that's probably the most annoying thing is that you still kind of have to be very present when you're doing your laundry and it takes forever. Um, so 20 minutes all together of just filling this with water is pretty frustrating, but I still like that option better than having to wait in the apartment complex, uh, laundry room, or a laundry mat. So I do think it's worth it, but I might if I had to repurchase, I might have looked at a different brand to see how much water it consumes. Um, yeah, I hope this helps somebody and hope that answers questions on filling the water manually.
All right, here's my review of the Black & Decker portable washer. It's working good. Working good. After I figured out how to set it up, it was quite easy. This afternoon he woke up and the RN told him to go to the hospital.